Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump size storms nation's largest sanctuary city, arresting hundreds. Cities across America are breaking federal law, challenging immigration agents by protecting illegal immigrants. Under President Trump, ICE is no longer putting up with that. It doesn't matter how big the city is or how many illegals they're trying to shelter. Bleeding heart liberal governors and mayors have been welcoming illegals with open arms at the expense of American citizens. They were under the illusion they could hide behind their big city budgets and their establishment power. Well, Donald just sent a signal that law abiding American citizens are far more important to their government than foreign lawbreakers. If only we could deport liberals for their illegal actions. For now, we'll have to settle for deporting criminal illegals. And ICE just found a whole bunch in America's largest sanctuary city. From Breitbart. Immigration enforcement agents tracked and arrested 225 illegal migrants in New York's sanctuary city where Democratic politicians are protecting illegals in the huge cheap labor workforce which supports the city's elite finance sector. A statement from U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement stated the six-day operation picked up 60 migrants who had been arrested and then released by the city's police forces, despite federal requests to detain them for repatriation. More than 60 individuals arrested during this operation were previously released from local law enforcement on an active detainer. U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement ICE, places detainers on individuals who have been arrested on local criminal charges and who are suspected of being deportable. The fact that liberals are trying to shield these people from being deported, when over 180 of those rounded up were convicted criminals, should tell you everything you need to know about the Democratic Party. And it's not as if these raids are a total surprise. Over 80 of the people detained had been issued final warnings to leave the U.S. in recent weeks, or had already been removed and had snuck back in, counting on the city's weak stance on immigration to protect them. NYC's constant pandering to these people have emboldened them to think they can get away with anything they want, and many of them try. The DHS statement said the arrestees included criminals convicted of manslaughter, DUIs, registered sex offenders, rapists, murder, burglary, forgery and fraud. ICE is definitely doing its job well by keeping these monsters off our streets, but calling ICE on illegal immigrants is merely reactive. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.